This is the new Nokia 7 Plus. The Supreme Court informed the Speaker of Parliament on the 22nd of March that the Judicature Amendment Bill needs to be passed with a two-thirds majority in Parliament as certain clauses included in the bill require amendments to the Constitution. Speaker Karu Jayasuriya officially informed the determination of the Supreme Court to the Parliament on Tuesday. The Supreme Court determined that Section 12A1 of the bill is inconsistent with the Article 154P3A of the Constitution and an amendment is required to be made to the Constitution to give effect to the Section 12A1 of the bill. The government brought in the bill to amend the Judicature Act No. 2 of 1978 with a view to set up a permanent high court at bar to expedite the large number of pending cases in the country. Although the amended bill was to be presented in Parliament today, Leader of the House Lakshman Kiriala informed the Speaker that the necessary amendments have not yet been made to the bill. We won't be presenting the Judicature Amendment Bill today, as amendments still need to be made, as per the ruling of the Supreme Court. If we have the two-thirds majority for this bill, then we can pass it as it is. But we'd like to pass the bill with a simple majority. We need to make amendments to the bill to do so. We'd somehow pass the bill on the first week of May. Meanwhile, Leader of the House today presented note of the supplementary allocations given from the budgetary support services and contingent liabilities provisions made under the Department of National Budget as per the introduction note of the annual estimates. Accordingly, supplementary allocations worth approximately 7 billion rupees for 35 government institutions, including various ministries and departments, have been mentioned in the note for the period between 22nd of January to the 28th of February this year. Parliamentarian Bimal Ratnaika raised questions on two particular allocations today. Supplementary additional allocations worth 4.1 million rupees have been allocated to meet the expenditure of lease rental for a vehicle procured under operational leasing method of the Minister of Special Assignment. Why do they need a vehicle? Then it says, as per the Cabinet decision on 31st of January 2018, 342 million rupees in supplementary allocations have been given to settle outstanding contractual payments to CMC for providing infrastructure facilities to the Shangri-La Hotel project. We'd like to know why they are paying public money to Shangri-La. You have a responsibility to give a proper explanation on this. You are allocating 43 million rupees to buy a vehicle for a state minister and another 10 million rupees for the security of the prime minister. Then why are we giving 342 million rupees to Shangri-La? We have given a brief description of the allocation. If they want, we can give a debate. This was a bank of Paradilla Taragila.